Hi guys, Abracadabra11. Little bit different today, no roosters, no cats, me with my sunglasses on, driving the car, heading to Wahin. So where did we leave it? Well, Hans kicked out of his house. Is it his house? Gretel caught him with X. Thanks for all the name ideas, but <laughs> Jar Jar Binks was my favourite, I think. <laughs> but we keep it as X for now. Uh, it gets uh, Hans gets caught with X, who turns out to be a lady boy, who also is Greewok's boyfriend, girlfriend, partner. <laughs> what a funny family, Gretel and Greewok. I mean. Gretel got a tomboy to join Hans in the bedroom. That was okay, that was allowed. But when he decided to play around with a lady boy, that wasn't so good. I suppose Gretel lost face walking in on him with X and Greewok's partner. Oh dear. So she turfed him out, he had no choice, luckily. He did ring a friend, friend gave him good advice. It's best not to have confrontations in Thailand. And you definitely don't want police involved. It's a domestic, the police would have calmed things down, but they would have removed him from the house due to the house possibly being hers. Hans went to a local hotel. Luckily, where the house is around the corner, there's probably three or four hotels. Kanchanaburi is uh, a tourist area due to the bridge over the river Kwai. So there are cheap hotels everywhere. Um, he checked into that hotel got on his laptop, luckily changed all his passwords for his banking, cards, everything, which was a smart move. Not that I think Gretel would have emptied his bank account, because then that would be straight outright fraud and theft, and she could have got into trouble for that. He then rang X and X came to the hotel. So, another night of passion. X's English is very good. And she knows exactly what's happened. Uh, what she's done. And the problem it's just caused him. She's very apologetic. And... Understands what's happened. But she's also probably rubbing her hands together thinking right I've now got him it's mine he's mine <laughs> but the fact that a lady boy has successfully made his tackle work is very strange and I did sort of ask him about that He didn't understand why. What can you say? So there he is. Morning comes, there's no breakfast at that hotel, it's just a basic hotel. Um, he says to X, get some breakfast, I need to find a lawyer. X doesn't know any. However, X jumps on the phone, 
does a bit of searching around and finds two in the city which is only a couple of kilometers away two in the city one seems to have English no German just English um, wording on their adverts so she gets the phone number no answer but it's too early so off they go get breakfast around about nine ish she rings again gets an answer asks if anyone there speaks German or English and luckily for him there's an English speaking Thai lawyer there ex asks if he can come straight along says he's in a situation he needs help and they say yes X has got a motorbike, convenient, puts him on the back of the bike, leaves his stuff at the hotel and off he goes. He knows where, when they get there he knows where he is, he knows where the hotel is. X says she's going off for whatever, to do whatever and he says thanks and he's faced with the lawyers. Now, he's only been in Thailand a month, are we saying about a month, maybe five weeks, six weeks. He is, he was at that point on a non-immigrant O visa, so he's got 90 days, and then he change it to the retirement extension so he's okay on the visa he's legally all right he's done nothing wrong as far as in the eyes of the law and he sits down with a lawyer there's also a girl there making notes and the lawyers talking English to hands tied to the girl for the notes and he goes through the whole story, skips through bits, and the lawyer's just faces dropping. Um, and after he gets to the end of the story and explains that she's then caught him with a lady boy, he doesn't go into too many sexual details, but as much as he can, the lawyer's like, how long have you been in Thailand? How much money have you spent? The lawyer can't believe it. The lawyer just is just gobsmacked. Um, yeah, he doesn't know what to say at first. Anyway, so the lawyer starts drilling down on everything. And uh, the lawyer comes to the conclusion pretty quick that the cheapest thing and the easiest way of resolving this is to get mediation. The lawyer says to Hans, you're in a, a, a tricky position because you've handled a lot of cash. The fact that you took money out of a back bank, a million bar for the house and handed it over in cash could be seen as a gift and would be hard to prove that it wasn't. Uh, also the car transaction, the fact he hasn't got the car in his name, he hasn't got the right paperwork to get the car in his name at this point. He said the things with the credit card purchases, he said yep yeah, you can we can sort that out. You do own those because you've purchased them. But where it comes to the big money, it's a sticky wicket. You are, you you can possibly win if we went to court, but the costs to go to court um, and the lawyer's costs and everything will add up considerably and it will go on for months and months and months. And he suggests to 
hands that he get him a mediator and try and do a deal with Gretel whereas she hands something back whether it's the money for the house gives him the car and furniture but he warns Hans that if he can get half of it back he's going to be better off than going to court Hans is not forthcoming with all the information and tells the lawyer a bit more about the sister and the houses or potential houses and the lawyer says well you don't have the facts to give me whether she owns these houses whether she's bought them whether she rents them whether she's committed any form of fraud deception we have to find that information out so what I suggest is we get mediation and the mediator will gather that information and we will take it from there but right now I suggest that you we contact her uh, you can uh, telephone her if you've got any personal possessions in the house but you get them and take them out of the house and Hans said he has left a couple of bits there so he said well I'll get hold of the mediator he's pretty flexible he can come with you to the house to get your bits and pieces try and gather some information from her and set up a time and a day for mediation but the best thing for you to do is to come out of the house and finish the relationship and get somewhere to stay while you go through the process he then says right I'll contact the mediator you go out to reception maybe you give her a ring and say that you want to come back and get some stuff and uh, you want to set a time for a mediator and see her reaction so Hans comes back out to the reception area gets on the phone and Gretel answers very off with him and he says to her that I'm at the lawyers um, I want to get a mediator to talk to you I want to come and collect some stuff what are we going to do and her reaction is I don't want to see you again everything in this house and house and car is all mine if you want anything that you've left behind tell me what it is and I'll post it to you <laughs> and my sister doesn't want to see you and I don't want to talk to a mediator she says what good have you left behind and he says so just mention some clothes she says well I will put them in a box and he says well I'll give you my lawyer's name and address here you can send it here she said fine so he hands the phone to the receptionist she gives him the address and Gretel puts the phone down so then Hans says to the reception can I talk to the lawyer again the lawyer says okay come in tells the lawyer what just happened to the lawyer says well if she won't take medi uh, mediation then you have no choice but to take legal action against her, try and claim your goods back and money. He says usually an official letter from us will make her realise you're not going to just give up and walk away. He says, so we will draft her and get a letter today, this morning. You can come back this afternoon, sign it and we'll get it to her today by special courier and we'll see what happens in the meantime you need an address for us to contact you and we'll take it from there have you closed all your accounts her access down to everything and he's yes I have he said good he said do not approach her do not go to the house stay away everyone's best interest 
and he said I'll get my reception to ring you this afternoon come in and sign the letter and we'll get that to her and he says thank you and he said what shall I pay you for this time he said we'll put a bill together as we go on with this because it's going to go on probably for a few months and that's it Hans has lost Gretel Gretel has vanished like abracadabra you know now you see her now you don't just like that the lady has kicked him out I mean okay he deserved it he jumped in bed with her sister's lady boy boyfriend <laughs> girlfriend oh hands 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 but now your tackle works let's just hope X doesn't dump you <laughs> or take all your rest of your money off you hmm funny so so funny <sighs> I don't know how long this video has gone already because I'm in the car and I wasn't watching the clock and I can't see on this camera so let's not leave it there let's carry on for a bit eh? Hans really has no friends no Farang friends in Kanchen Abri. he doesn't really know his way around that well but now he's got a lady boy friend The hotel he's in is not very good, it's very basic. And he stood outside the lawyers thinking, oh dear, I've come to Thailand. I've lost potentially a lot of money. And now I find out that I like lady boys. What to do? Does he go home? to Germany and take legal action from there where he's in his own comfort zone or does he take a gamble and stay as a single foreigner without being able to speak the language doesn't know his way around really what to do he thinks it's probably better, the lawyer's going to take care of everything, he's still got money. It's probably best that he start learning a bit about Thailand, about the culture, about the language, but needs to stay reasonably close because he might, at a drop of a hat, have to get furniture and stuff from the house or pick up a car or get a house. But he doesn't want to go and sign any long-term contracts with anyone for accommodation because he doesn't know how long this is going to take. He gets on the phone again to his Farang friend. Yeah, we know who that is. And asks advice and tells that person what's happened. <laughs> and after that person twigs what everything that's gone on and realizes it that person says to him well you can rent a room in a hotel by the month most hotels will give you a a good price for a, for a month's room you can get condos you can you know there's everything you can rent in Thailand it's all possible he also is going to need some form of transport to get around so again rental luckily Hans is a motorbike man so Hans friend says find a bike taxi or somebody X and have a whiz around your area find out where the foreigners drink and tend to be see if you can find a hotel to your liking and get a month's deal and then get a bike and rent it for a month take it step by step so he gets on the phone to X and X is like very happy 
to hear from him. I'm very happy to help him. Within 20 minutes, X is there. They scoot around, look at a few hotels, guest houses, and eventually find one down by the river, and they'll do him a deal of 10,000 baht for the month for a room with aircon, no bills and a basic breakfast thrown in as well. He's sorted. Next thing is to get a bike and again that hotel rents bikes. So he just gets a little Honda Click and it's three or four thousand baht for the month. Sorted. Goes back to the hotel where he was, picks his stuff up, says to X that him and Gretel are finished, they won't be getting back together under any circumstances. He made a mistake, he wants to try and fight her and get some of his money back, tells X the whole story. And X seems quite happy. X says that she's no longer going to see Gree Walk because of what's happened. Uh, and she's renting a small room in Canchanabri with a friend and already Hans is saying to X why don't we go out together and see how it goes he hasn't even been single for a, a day and X is happy yeah of course and I think that's a good place to leave it that's quite happy place for a change what will happen Will he get back with Gretel? Will he get some money back? Sure. And if he does, what will he do? Will he stay in Thailand? Will he go to Germany? Will he live happily ever after with X? Will Gretel lose face? Come back after him with a bit of revenge? You never know. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that different surroundings I know and I'll catch you on the next one bye for now